Hello everyone, Amod here from a Target Common YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we will write our first test script from scratch using Playwright with TypeScript. Let's see the functional flow which we need to automate. I have a simple web page with title Playwright test page and it contains two text boxes, one for name and another for email. If we provide these details and click on submit button, it shows form submitted. So basically, I'm going to perform these steps. Open a browser. Let's be specific. I'm going to launch a Chrome browser. Then load application URL. Verify page title. Enter name. Enter email. Click on submit button. And verify form submitted message is displayed. Since we have decided during installation that we are going to keep our test files or spec files within test folder. So I need to create my new test within that folder. For that select the folder then click on this icon which is new file. Now how to name this file? If you see the example spec they have given example.spec.ts. So basically we can give example.spec.ts or example.test.ts. So any test file should end with spec.ts or test.ts because Playwright will look for those files by default. If I create a new file, I can name it as submit form, then spec.ts or I can name it as test.ts. But it is not mandatory that you follow this pattern. We can change it, but we need to configure that in Playwright configuration file. Let me quickly show you that. I am going to rename this example.spec.ts to only example.ts. TS stands for TypeScript. So that is mandatory. Hit enter. And now I am going to terminal and going to run command to run test which is npx playwright test. It is showing the error like no test found. Because in this test file we don't have any test and here it is not considering because it is not matching with their expected pattern. So now you might be asking what to do in that case. For that, you need to go to playwright.config.ts and here under the define config, we have one property called s match. And here we can pass anything ending with ts and give the comma. Let's save it. Open the terminal, run the command npx playwright test. Now you can see it is running the test from example.ts file. But I am going to continue with the default pattern which is spec or test.ts. So I am going to comment this key and I will also rename this example.ts to back to their original name which is example.spec.ts. Now let's come back to our original scenario which I need to automate. If you have worked on Selenium Web Driver with Java, then we use an external test framework like JUnit or TestNG to create our test. We create a method and then put an annotate call at test. Similarly, in Playwright, if we use Playwright test, then we need to create test block or test function. So we start typing test and here I don't get any suggestion to import from Playwright. So I'm not sure why it is not showing, but sometimes it shows you want to import test from Playwright slash test, but now it's not coming. So it's manually import it. So you would import test from, you need to pass the package from you want to import. So this test block is from playwright slash test. So at the rate playwright slash test and you need to give this package name into double quotes. And if you want to use semicolon, you can use it. Now I should be able to access test. Since test is a function, so use parenthesis. And here it says it is accepting two arguments. First one is title of type string. So you need to provide some meaningful title which will say what kind of scenario you are covering in this test. Second argument is a function and that function may take one or more than one arguments. We see multiple types here like playwright test args, playwright test options, playwright worker args and playwright worker options and test info. So we are going to see these arguments later in this playlist but as of now you can understand this is just a function which will have your test steps and this function either return a promise or void so if you create the function as asynchronous then it will return a promise otherwise it will return void and here i need to pass anonymous function so let's start with title so i'm going to put submit form success then give comma and I need to pass an anonymous function. So I'm not going to pass any arguments to this function and use arrow 
and curly braces and let's put semicolon at the end of this function so first step is to launch chrome browser so we know that playwright by default runs based on rendering engines like chromium webkit and firefox so i want to run my test on chromium so i need to use chromium which is the first one now you can see it is automatically imported then i have one method called launch so basically this statement will launch chromium browser so let me store the return value of this function into a constant maybe i can name it as browser after this i need to create a session or i need to create a page so what do you understand by session suppose you are using chrome browser and we can create profiles so that if you are accessing your application with some user and you are trying to log in with some different user in the same browser then both will not be collided because you are opening the application or log into the application with different users in two different sessions similar thing we can achieve here as well that means within a browser we can have multiple sessions so here i can use browser dot so basically i am looking for a method new context here which is not coming let's understand why so basically javascript is asynchronous programming language that means if you write 10 lines of code it is not going to execute one by one or it will not wait for previous statement to be completed since typescript is a superset of javascript then typescript also becomes asynchronous but whatever scenario we are trying to automate we need to wait for previous step to be completed before we go for next one like when you launch browser we load the url then only we need to enter name or email but if my script does not wait for page to be loaded completely then obviously my script will fail so for that we need to change this asynchronous behavior to synchronous how to do that so we have multiple ways like callback promises or async await i need to use one keyword called async before my function after making this function asynchronous before every statement i need to use await so here we need to use await so this will be executed and it will wait for its completion and then it will assign the return value to browser variable and then only it will proceed for the next step so what is my next step i want to create a new context so now if i do browser dot new context i can see options let's call it and here i need to use await and i can again store this context into a variable like this after creating a context or session i need to create a page which is similar to a tab so you can use context dot new page these all are functions now i can store this into a constant called page and don't forget to use await you must be wondering how i am able to access this launch or new context or new page methods if you try to relate with any java class so we have methods in that class and we create an object of that class so that we can access methods from that class or if any method returns any different type like if any method returns you string then we can call methods from that string class similar concept we have here as well so i have chromium which i am importing from playwright slash test if you click on this chromium you can see it is a constant of type project type and if you click on this project type you can find this is an interface so we are writing chromium dot launch so this launch method is present in project type interface if you do control f and search for launch press control f type launch so here you can see this browser type interface contains a method launch and this launch method will give you a promise which will be resolved in a browser object if you click on this browser object you can find this is also an interface we can call methods from that browser interface so if you search for new context we can find inside this browser now this new context method will return you a promise of browser context object which i am going to store into this context variable similarly if you go in the same manner you will find a method new page in this browser context interface which returns a promise of page object let's click on this new page and go to this page interface in this page method we have a lot of methods to perform actions like if you want to go to any url we have go to method if you want to locate any element we need to use locator method 
In fact, we are going to call a lot of methods from this page interface. So I am done with the first step to launch Chrome browser. Now, second step to load URL. To load the URL, I have one method called go to. So use page dot go to and pass the URL in double quotes or single quotes. And obviously I need to use await. This go to method will wait for page to reach the load state prior to moving forward. After loading the page, I want to check the title of this page, which is playwright test page. So we have one function called expect, which is coming from playwright slash test. And you can see it is showing me an option to import it. So import it, you can see automatically it is being added at the top. Now I'm expecting that this page, whatever is loaded currently should have a title. So we have the debate method. If you do dot, we can get so many methods like to have title and let's pass the expected title here and obviously I need to use await. Now next step is to enter name. So I'm going to inspect this web page and here I have id equal to name. So I'm going to use locators which we are knowing from selenium. So let's copy the id and here let's start with await and use page dot. We have one method called locator. Since we need to use id, so I need to explicitly mention id equal to value and this thing will go in double quotes or single quotes. I can store the written value of this statement into another variable and then I can call a method to send the keys. But instead of writing multiple statements, can directly call fill method. This method will perform typing on the text box. So let's call fill and pass the value. Let's inspect the second element which is email. Here also I have id but I'm going to write xpath. So slash slash input at the rate id equal to email. Copy the xpath. Come here, use await, then page dot locator. And here I need to use double quotes xpath equal to value. And then I can call fill method to pass email address. But if you're using xpath or CSS, in this locator method, it can identify those things. So here you can omit this xpath explicitly. Now let's inspect this submit button. I'm going to write CSS for this. So has email. Copy this locator. Come here. Use await page dot locator. Then in the double quotes, use CSS. Then pass the value. And we have one method click, which will perform click on a button. Since this locator function can identify xpath and CSS, we can omit this CSS from here as well, like xpath. It seems I have written some wrong CSS. Let me go and inspect it again. So this submit button has id as submit dash button. So let me copy this and paste it here. So I need to click on submit and then I need to validate this message is displayed. So let me inspect this message quickly. It has an id. So let's copy this. Go to Visual Studio Code. So here I can use await page dot locator pass id equal to value let's store this element this time so maybe i can use const then message element you can give any name and now i can use await i'm expecting that this element should have a text so i have the debate methods like to have text and uh, what i'm expecting form submitted so basically we have completed all seven steps but i think last step is pending which is close the browser so let's see how to close it. So use await and call page. We have one method called close. Once the tab is closed, I need to close the session and browser. So use await context dot close and then finally await browser dot close. Let's save it. And here I'm going to comment all these tests from example. Now we need to run this test. So we have multiple ways to run, but I'm going to use command as of now. So for that, open the terminal and use npx playwright test and hit enter. Let's see what happens. So you can see it is running three tests using three workers. Why it was running total three tests? Because in the config file, we have three projects. One for Chromium, one for Firefox, one for WebKit. Now let's open the report. Let's see what it shows there. npx playwright show report. This will open the report in a localhost. So it shows this test were run in Chromium, Firefox, WebKit. But if you see my test, I'm just launching Chromium. Now run npx playwright 
test dash dash headed. Let's see what happens now. So you would have seen that it's launched Chromium three times only. But if we open the report, it shows tests were done in Chromium, Firefox and WebKit, which is basically not correct. In this test function, I am explicitly launching this browser and then closing it. So if you have multiple tests, you need to repeat those steps again and again. Obviously, we can use hooks, but that is some different topic. So in Playwright, by default, they provide some fixtures which are responsible to set up and tear down processes. So basically, instead of writing all these statements, let me comment these statements first and I can use existing fixture provided by Playwright. So one of the fixture is called page. This fixture will give you browser instance and it will also close it after test execution is done. Let me save it and run it again in terminal. So npx playwright test dash dash headed. Let's see. This time you could see it is launching Chromium, WebKit and Firefox. In the next video tutorial, I will show you how can we run multiple ways and, and observe the execution very closely. So that's all in this video. If you have any doubt, please comment on this video. If you really like my videos, please like, comment, subscribe and share with others. Thank you everyone.